Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2. We're going to discuss some of the new features and some of the new development info and news that we have about Windows 11 24H2. And of course, this video will contain more information about what we can expect from Windows 11 24H2 and related stuff. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates or versions, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by private internet access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. Right here, I have a build that was released internally by by Microsoft, which is the build 26100. This is not an official build, it's a build intended for OEMs. So if you somehow get the ISO to this build, don't install it or don't upgrade to it on your main computer or testing computers because you may have issues upgrading to other builds or versions after this one. So as many of you may know, Windows 11 24H2 will be a new version of Windows 11 that will mainly focus on new AI features. And the main feature for Windows 11 24H2 is supposedly a new new AI Explorer. This new AI Explorer could have built-in history, timeline features, it will have new natural language search, it will understand context because of course it is powered by AI, and it is part of Windows 11 24H2, most likely phase 2, which is of course the phase after the RTM build that was released in April. This is information provided by uh, both Phantom Machine 3 and also Zach Bowden from Windows Central, so shout out to them. Now for these new AI features or the new AI Explorer, we have two code names. One of those is AI which is the AI experience, it will probably be used for general on-device copilot stuff in native UI, when UI 3, and also, as stated by Phantom Motion 3, the new package that allows you to undock the copilot has a few mentions of AIX. And we also have a new code name A9, which is the AI Explorer, and as stated by Albacore on Twitter, the new copilot taskbar button position is referred to as such. So we already have seen bits and pieces and references to these code names, AIX and A9, in the latest builds from the Canary and dev channels of course and also AIX bits have been seen since the build 26063 so we have some references to those. One thing that we also can assume is that provided with all the information we have this new AI Explorer thing could be a new feature especially created for ARM devices or ARM 64 PCs basically for tablets, touchscreen PCs and more so that they will be easier to use. Of course we don't know for sure yet but this could be a possibility. Also the build 26200 is now a thing for internal branches related to Windows 11 24H to UX and refresh development. And it looks like there was a build jump from 26100, which we have here, to 26200. As 26100 is still the RTM build for manufacturers, of course, the base platform. And 26200 and above will probably be for the dev and development of Stage 2, the big AI features, as stated by Phantom Machine 3. Also, build 26120 is now a thing which might be for the beta channel. And the beta channel might include all all the stage 2 features like the dev channel but in a more stable state and we could also expect some new feature drops as in moments updates that we had before and we've talked about in this channel so what is for certain microsoft is heavily preparing to work on new features and improve the existing and testing 24h2 features and also internal 24h2 updates are named that way for example windows 11 version 24h2 2612.383 so i'm also looking forward to your opinion in the comments below what do you think about Windows 11 24H2, the direction that Microsoft is going with, basically the AI direction. Hopefully, they will implement AI better and better. So far, I cannot say that Copilot has been a very useful tool for me, but of course, the AI features that they've included into Paint, for example, Photos app are very useful because, for example, in Paint, you have a photo with a portrait. You want to easily cut the background. You can very easily do that using their new AI functions. You can also do that inside the Photos app. They also have the generative erase function. I think these are some pretty useful things. So hopefully Microsoft will implement useful things like these in the near future and in Windows 11 24H2. So this is the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.